Hey everyone, today very very big project. I'm recreating this uh, this door right here. It's not a unusual door that I'm recreating. It's been a long time I'm talking about it, so today's the day. Pretty simple. Uh, what I have to do is just measure the whole door. I already bought the metal. I have to recreate this uh, slight angle right here. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Then I will show you exactly what I'm doing because it's not a unusual door that I'm recreating. I'm not recreating the same door. It's, it, it will be something not totally different, but different uh, with a, a very specific usage. I'm really excited to show to you what I'm gonna do. It's now time to make it, so let's go. All right, so the door will be approximately 36 and three quarter of an inch. Let's go first by cutting uh, the metal so I have I need 36 and three quarter of an inch right here same thing up there let's start with that first and then I'm gonna have to measure the length of uh, metal that I need to make the uh, these bars right here so let's go I needed to cover this part actually now I need to put this part right here and as you can see I cut this square right there and it's because it's basically this part here what I want is this part coming behind this uh, this metal bar so yeah so let's go Now that this is all attached, I'm gonna leave it that way and uh, well, just finish the door. I've already cut the metal tubings and uh, right now I just finished the process of measuring and bending the, the square tubings to fit the door. And so now what I have to do is just finish, uh, adjust the length of those two beams right here right here uh, so this way it's uh, cut to size and then I will be able to weld this uh, the transverse the top transverse and then I'll make a cut on the leftover bar leftover tubing to have another transverse right here and then I will have enough to create one diagonally so that's where I'm at right now uh, the process is quite simple measuring cutting and welding So here is the door. There we go. Now that I uh, welded this piece of metal, uh, it's uh, 
it's looking really really nice it's uh, coming along really nicely so I'm glad I had some issue with uh, some weldings that I did so I had to redo them I had to grind them and redo them but uh, I still have to do one of them here it's uh, not good at all so this one is a redo uh, but yeah overall that's good so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring the other uh, long piece of square tubing that I have left and uh, make it a diagonally right here the door is done uh, as you can see I placed I welded this diagonal the door is super sturdy it's super strong and uh, it's super heavy as well so I'm, I'm really glad what, how it turned out after cleaning up the, the frame and uh, applying two coat of rust paint now it's time to well simply cover it up and so I started to uh, measure and cut one first piece of, uh, of metal and uh, I started to uh, bend it properly so I need to bend this side as well and then this side as well All right, here is uh, the door. It's uh, almost done. And what I mean by almost is just that I need to apply some rivets here, but I need to order them. So the door is not completely ready yet, but it's 90% uh, finished, 90% done. Tomorrow I'll come back and I'll finish what I can finish. Uh, I won't be able to have the rivets for tomorrow so it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna have to wait for that but uh, as soon as I have them uh, I'm gonna finish and I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna show you the result right so right now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm working on covering up this uh, this hole so I am preparing the uh, bondo so I'm just gonna have to add this cream hardener to this uh, gray paste and as soon as it's done and this paste will turn like kind of red uh, I will have to apply it like, as fast as possible because it's gonna harden very very quickly so let's go All right, so this is the door installed. Uh, it's a little bit tight right here, in, in this area here, and especially here. Uh, the reason is it's because um, the sheet metal are on top of each other. So instead of having only one, one sheet uh, it's two right here same thing here on this side and same thing same thing here on this side at the, on the door So it's a little bit tight for now. It's uh, too snug So I'm gonna have to grind a little bit, but for now I have only two heavy-duty hinges But I might buy uh, another set of hinges just to make it stronger because the door is quite heavy These are the hinges that I bought for uh, the door so it's pretty simple it's just heavy duty and then i'm gonna have to use those 
uh, self-tapping screws to well like grip in, into the metal properly and make sure that it stays and uh, it's, it's secure so I'm just gonna have to uh, do this to uh, put this on and see how we see how it goes it's still a little bit fit so I'm gonna have to try to find a solution but yeah we'll, we'll see anyway so let's go All right, so as you can see, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, for this project, I didn't want to have a traditional door. So that's why I didn't put the hinges on this, uh, on this side or on this side. I wanted to have the hinges at the bottom right here. So this way, when I opened the door, I opened it like that. And so the goal is to uh, now with this kind of door is to access the garage and have some steps on the inside of the door. So obviously it is not done yet. I still have to work on that, but that was the purpose of this kind of door. Now the small issue that I have to fix is this problem right here because it's too snug. The metals are touching and it's, it's rubbing and uh, it's not very good. Uh, but for now, this is kind of the result of what I wanted. Okay, quick update. Uh, I'm now working on the insulation of the door. And uh, also because the insulation is a little bit thicker than the um, uh, square metal tubing that I bought, I added this, let's say subframe <clears throat> that, I'm, uh, that I'm gluing first. And then what I will do next, once uh, the insulation is done on the lower part of the door, I will uh, use all of the planks that still remains, um, all of the leftovers, and then I'm gonna cover the whole door with the planks. Okay, the door is in position right now. And uh, so as you can see, I need to do the, uh, the frame right here. So this way, once this is done, then the door will be able to sit against uh, the frame. And I will also be able to uh, place the weather stripping. And I also have to do like this top right here. So this way we don't see anything uh, from the outside. I'm sorry, I just forgot to film. Uh, I had my music in my ears and so I just simply forgot to press the record button. But uh, I started to create the, uh, the frame, the inner frame. Now that the frame, the inner frame is done, let's uh, jump into the next step, which means installing uh, the lock, the Jimmy proof lock or Jimmy lock proof. This is the time to uh, install this uh, entry lock. So it's a Jimmy proof lock. And I uh, have no idea what it's, uh, why it's called like that, but thank you, Jimmy. The door is done. So the final steps obviously would be to now uh, create the stairs. All right, so after measuring, remeasuring, re-remeasuring and making sure I'm not uh, screwing anything on that uh, 2x8. Um, so basically what I'm going to cut is this triangle here, right here, and uh, see if it fits. This is the first, the first piece that I cut. Uh, I'm going to just... Uh, 
uh, try to uh, make it fit, try to make sure that it's, uh, it's okay. If so, I will repeat the process and basically uh, do the same thing for, uh, for the other steps. So there is something that I need to decide before uh, creating the stairs. So when I cut the first piece of wood, uh, which looked like this, it came from another piece of wood that was this part right here. So I cut first, my first cut was this piece and then I split it in half like that. So I wanted to make the stairs uh, with this. So basically uh, this would be uh, the place where I would put the stair. But I figured out that this part right here is actually the same um, well it's the same it's the same angle obviously here here now so which basically makes it like a bigger stair uh, which could be potentially better what I have and right now the final uh, the final step is to simply put the steps on <laughs> and uh, that would be pretty much it and there you go so the stairs are done it's officially the first time I'm creating this so yeah there's uh, still some errors but so far it's kind of good there you go it's done Yep, yeah, I'm very happy, very proud of what I did. All right, so let me show you how I opened the door. It's The concept is kind of a drawbridge with stairs attached to it. So just let me show you. Uh, that's pretty much it okay so I really hope that you enjoyed the video that you basically liked what what I did uh, it was fun to do it was not that simple uh, well the, the toughest part was basically to create the stairs but it's uh, it's kind of a learning process which is kind of great so now that this uh, project is done, see you in another video. Bye guys.